Hi there everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Let's Draw with Lydia. My name is Lydia and I'm a librarian at the St. Catharines Public Library. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take a few minutes to draw something fun together. So if you'd like to join in, all you need to do is grab some paper and then grab something to draw with. So I will be using my marker, but you are welcome to use anything that you have handy around the house. So let's get started with, as usual, along the left side here, I'm just going to draw something to see who our animal friend is going to be. So maybe we'll use these as a hint today. So I'm going to start with, of course, with some books. We're just going to draw some books and they're actually going to be kind of just floating. I'll show you why in a moment. So I'm actually going to draw circles around them, just like that. And these books are actually floating because they're in some bubbles. So we're actually going to be drawing somebody who likes to live in the water. So how about let's start with their face over here. We're going to start with an eye. We'll see who likes to live under the water. So they have an eye and just draw the rest of the body like that. Mm -hmm. The rest of the body is actually pretty much just a big circle. I'm going to leave a gap there. Which I'm going to draw a fin. And who do you think we're drawing? Looks like we'll be drawing a fish today. Looks like he's got the books in a bubble so he doesn't get them wet. He's a happy fish, so we'll give him a little smile. And of course he's got to have like that. And then if you'd like you can even give him a chin up top like that. So that is our little underwater fish and as always add a few details just to give him some pizzazz. You might want to sometimes fish have a different color on their faces. Give your fins some extra lines. Too. Of course, since he's a fish, you can give him a couple scales just like that. You just make kind of some little U shapes. And of course, I'll make the books look fancier. Make it look like they have some titles. Like that. And if you want, you can even add some extra air bubbles. So, what I usually do for air bubbles is just a circle and then you just draw kind of a wonky little rectangle in there too and it makes it look like they have a little bit of pop to them. Just like that. A few more bubbles. Alright, so I think our fish looks pretty much done. I am just going to give them a bit of color so I'm going to fast forward this part and then I'll see you guys again at the end of the video.
So there's our goldfish. Thank you so much for joining us again today, everybody. Uh, we hope that you have a great day and have a great weekend. Um, we'll be posting a new video again next week on the next Wednesday. So we'll see you guys then. Bye-bye. Right,